Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a what's in your energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and if it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it, as sometimes I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma. My lovelies, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Um, let's see what we got going on. I am using my Monsters uh, Tarot deck. Is that what it's called? Universal Monsters Tarot deck. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Virgo. Oh, crap. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Virgo, this is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome, or what's to come. If you haven't already, please check out my website, lunajadebotanica.com. You can purchase a reading a birth chart um you can purchase my candles my oils all that good stuff let's see what we got going on virgos this is your energy but your surrounding is much more actually no your energy wants to come out first let's start in your energy virgos six of wands four of wands in reverse the hermit and the ace of cups in reverse I'm hearing I'm going to win whether you like it or not. Virgo, I'm getting strong like your success gets people upset. It's very your success is going to make some people mad. It's very strange energy. I'm seeing the letter K and I'm seeing the letter R. And then I'm hearing ER someone's family member works like in the medical field or is a nurse or something someone's success really your success is really going to upset people like there's like undercover enemies very much so in your energy Virgo I looked up and saw my sign that says the evil eye people give you like the evil eye unknowingly for some of you it's a sister or a sibling There's something about wanting attention or wanting praise. This per Not from you, Virgo, but this person. They want all the praise. They want all the glory. They want all the attention. They want all the admiration. Which is why your success is really going to bother them. The Six of Candles is here. Winning. Crossing that finish line. A big W. <laughs> like a brand new medal is coming for you. A trophy. This is getting attention. This is getting recognition. This is getting a promotion. This is rising, quite literally rising. This is also defeating something, defeating um, enemies, <laughs> enemies, plain and simple, or a monster. But I also feel like this is like finishing up what needed to be done, finishing up a long dream that has been in the works. This is celebration. I'm seeing the letter J. I almost said JC. JC, Jackie, Jamie. I'm also seeing something about like a hookah or like, like a propane tank or something. Like there's a fire that's really going to start burning and burning bright for you, Virgo. I keep, I keep wanting to say like, uh, name in lights, name in lights. Ooh, I got the chills. Name in lights. Everyone's going to be talking about you, Virgo, or everyone's going to know about your success or whatever is really prospering for you. With the four of candles in reverse, my lovelies, this is telling me not everybody is going to be up and giddy about it. Okay. Almost a Gideon. Gideon. Um, but not everybody is going to be pleased or happy for you. The four of candles in reverse means not a good time, not celebrating, not happy, not uniting or reuniting. Some people are going to be very salty when it comes to what is coming for you, Virgo. And what's coming for you is a big fat win. 
in whatever journey or aspect that you're looking towards. Not everyone is going to be celebrating your success coming in. I'm hearing talk about it. Talk about it. Let them talk about it. Or like someone saying, I don't want to talk about it. Someone is very insecure and very jealous. Like they like to talk about your success to like let people know they're connected to you. But they don't like that you're successful. Talbot, Talbot. I don't know what that means. Can someone tell me what Talbot means? I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing like someone is very like a mother figure. It, there's someone who's like, <sighs> forgive me for saying this, but there's someone who likes to body shame someone or body shame you or like nitpick at your insecurities or something. There's someone very insecure that they pick out other insecurities of people to make themselves feel I don't know like weird I don't know they're weird this person's weird they have a devil on their shoulder not even a demon they have a devil on their shoulder something's gonna come crushing down on them pretty soon I'm seeing like it's coming like this like it's going to come crashing down from top to bottom. Could have something to do with your success that's going to make them feel like they are, like the walls are closing in. People will know how they treat you or people will know how they are not supportive or something. There's something about your success that scares them. With the hermit here, my lovelies, my Virgo card. You keep doing what you're doing. A lot of you have taken this year to really go deep within, do some introspection, really help yourself, really help your healing, really move forward, move on. A lot of you have kept that lantern burning bright during a dark, dark year. Couple years, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like there's a big prize coming. Like I heard what's behind door number one like there's different rewards coming for you Virgo I think you're just clearing out the rooms looking for your prize right now for some reason that's what they're telling me you're clearing out the rooms and looking for the prize oh I got the chills um this means that you've been going and digging deep you've been doing some soul searching Virgos you really have some of you write music or can sing um, I, I feel like some of you need to write something about soul searching um, or some of you are listening to music that's really healing your soul or really healing your heart. I feel like a very big shift in your heart chakra really just like glowing, beating. It's very strange. I want to say enamored. Very much so enamored with something or someone or yourself. It's so crazy because I'm hearing the bucket is in the barrel. What in the world does that mean? The bucket <clears throat> is in the barrel. The bucket's in the barrel. I don't know, if that resonates with someone, let me know in the comments below. I'm also hearing Blair, the name Blair. And then I just heard it's very spooky. So I don't know what what's resonating with y'all, but I'm hearing a whole bunch of stuff. Over here we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yes, I think that there's definitely going to be some severing of some ties here. Ace of Cups in reverse means there's not a lot of love surrounding you, okay? And I think you're going to see people's true colors. You already have been, Virgo. But there's some great success, some great shift, some great new, I keep wanting to say new value, new value. There's going to be some new value to your life in some sense of the form. Um, but you're really going to see who does not care for you whatsoever, who was not there for you, and who you need to shut your heart off to. A lot of you are going to want to help a lot of people or like give them the benefit of the doubt or something like you're still going to have love for them 
And Spirit is saying, it's time to close the door on those who do not care for you that way. They're fake. And that's such a like juvenile thing to say, like, oh, that person's fake. But that's what they're telling me. There are fake faces in your face, Virgo. And they do not care. Just remember that when you get some big, great success. It's so crazy because like I like to tell people, we are born with the same demons over and over and over again. The same souls come back to be your enemies. And I think in this lifetime, Virgo, it's time to shut that coffin and let those energetic vampires sleep for the remainder because I'm even seeing like somebody like flipping someone off. <laughs> like, I don't know, giving them the, the finger. Over here in your surrounding energy, Virgo's Ten of Cups in reverse. I just called to tell you I love you is what I'm hearing. I just called to tell you that I love you. I just called to tell you that I love you. I don't know who that is. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. I just heard, leave me alone, I'm working. Leave me alone, I am working. You've released a major, major boulder that was hanging on your shoulder, Virgo. I'm seeing like a cute little squirrel or like a cute little bunny. I'm seeing a cute squirrel or a cute bunny. Someone look up what the spirit meaning of that is, please. Um, <clears throat> something significant about the number 47. Ooh. Someone look up what, this, what the spiritual meaning of the number 47, the angel meaning of 47. I just heard, I love him. I love him. There's something significant about a mysterious connection or a deep connection. Something about the moon could be with a cancer or someone with a cancer moon. Some of you have released a relationship. And I'm smiling right now because it's a good thing. The Ten of Cups in reverse means the ending of a connection, the ending of a, a, a once was happy home, the ending of a marriage, the ending of a long-term relationship. Ten is like longevity. And when it's in reverse, this is broken. There's been an ending, a severance, a cutting of ties, or a separation that has occurred. I am no longer happy here. I do not feel wanted. And with the two of candles, this is a crossroads. And in reverse, this is actually taking that leap to follow a separate path. If you are not happy somewhere, Virgo, you have made the decision to move on from a connection, from a person. But I feel like you're lighting the way to a new life if you haven't done so already. The fool is here, Aries energy. It's almost like it was a long time coming, right? Um, very, very hard for people to leave long-term situations, careers, uh, home, home situations. But the fool in reverse. I just heard, I'm not effed up, you are. I am not messed up, you are. I am not wrong, you are. Crazy, because I'm seeing two like faces. I'm seeing like a dog and I'm seeing like a face. But there's like a balloon on the person's nose. 
very strange i don't know what this means for anybody my left palm is starting to itch right here and i don't know if i'm supposed to squeeze it or i'm supposed to scratch it but i'm feeling something very strange here um woo, woo. there's something about like a i'm seeing like the dog i don't know what kind of dog it is but it's, it's the dog that scooby-doo is what is scooby-doo a great dane that's what I'm seeing, a face of a Great Dane. A mystery, right? There's a mystery. I feel like some of you have released something very big and major. And it was something that was very hard for you to do or you were very hesitant to do because you didn't want to do it uh, prematurely or um, out of fear for looking like a fool or it being the wrong choice or decision or a backlash right however my lovelies i do feel gosh this is itching so much does this mean i'm gonna lose money or or, or i'm gonna get money they say you're not supposed to scratch it right you're supposed to hold on to it i honestly don't know but over here with the knight of cups you have released something to open your arms to receive something better Leaving an unhappy situation, an unhappy job, an unhappy connection to find something that actually does make you happy, that does make you stand tall and firm and proud and motivated and dedicated and admired. I feel strongly like it's like, uh, it's a good thing moving forward, Virgo. It is a good thing moving forward. In the mutual energy, you have the sun, Leo energy, page of castles in reverse, and the ace of castles. Ooh, I don't care what I'm leaving, I'm happy. Beautiful, like so beautiful. Leo energy is here. This is the sun. The sun is happiness, it is bliss, it is contentment, it is wish fulfillment, it is satisfaction, it is being free, it is like setting yourself free, and it's a childlike energy. Do y'all know what it feels like to feel the sun after rainy days and you're stuck inside and you go outside and finally feel that those rays hitting your skin? It's energizing, it's it's healing I feel like that's exactly what you're going to be feeling very soon if not already Virgo feeling the feeling of the sun the happiness and under that the page of castles which means kind of like mm, dropping the opportunity Dropping communication, dropping offerings, not accepting apologies, using your brain, not your heart, being smart about things, and with the Ace of Castles, not allowing people to move forward, to step all over you, to run over you, to mess up your boundaries, to disrespect you, to use your money, to use your opportunities, to use you in general. You're not going to accept fake love. I'm hearing some song by Drake, and if y'all know me, y'all know I'm not a fan, but I don't know the song, but I'm hearing, da, 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 da. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know honestly what I'm hearing in my head, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that people can't come back just when they want. People aren't going to be able to come back when you when you've made it. I'm happy. And I don't care what I'm leaving behind. Oh, Virgo. And look underneath the deck. Three of cups in reverse. I know. That's what I'm hearing. I know who the foes are. I know who the phonies are. I know what doesn't make me happy. I know who's in my way. 
and I know who's out to get me. So I'm solely focusing on my temperance, on my peace, on my peace of mind, on my abundance. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. And it's literally serenity. Virgos, if this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Like I said, you could book a reading with me. You could book a birth chart analysis where I show you everything that's going on in the blueprint of your life. You could book, I mean, you could purchase my candles, my oils, all that good stuff. Go ahead and check that out. Show me some, you can even purchase my cards. I created these. Show me some moon messages for Virgo. Ooh, Virgo. Red moon. Celebrate new life and change for the better. Be optimistic and open to the opportunities as they come your way. Ooh, okay, Virgo. Divination. Yep, this is all meant to happen. It is in divine timing and it is the divine plan. You have released something to get something better. Lessons. I do feel like this wants to come out over here. Yeah, this is going to be a rough lesson uh, to figure out, like, some people you need to actually, like, leave, you know? And then we have open ears and we have caution. Oh, I do feel like, yeah, people are going to be talking about you, Virgo. But also there's going to be like nosy people wanting to know your plans, wanting to know things about you. And just be careful who you let into your personal business, whether that be personal. Yeah, because they're also going to be watching you, whether that be like careful what you post. Go clean up your social media accounts if that's the case for some reason they're telling me to tell y'all. Be careful what you post. Be careful what you say. Be careful how you talk like to like be, be careful how you talk as in like. Don't tell your personal stuff to people who can twist your words is what I'm saying. I don't know why they're telling me to tell you that, but they're telling me to tell you that, okay? Let's get an angel message for my lovely Virgos. Ease and grace. Things are going to start easing up for you. Things are really going to start getting a little bit easier, Virgo keep your composure because things are going the load is going to be lightening up very very soon if not already that is what i have for you my lovelies i hope this helps i hope this resonates i am sending you lots of love light peace clarity may peace always surround you i love you so very much and i will talk to you soon